Tell me what's a black life worth? A bottle of juice is no excuse, the truth hurts. On Saturday, March 16th, 1991, a 15-year-old black girl named Latasha Harlins walked in a Korean store to buy a $1.79 bottle of orange juice in South Central Los Angeles. She did not walk out. A year later, on April 29, 1992, as a community still reeling from the beating of Rodney King was on the brink of collapse, was soon hear the words not guilty amounting to shock and violent rage. This is her story. Uh, supermarket or, or drugs or uh, liquor store types of uh, scenario there. We're coming to check a fire that's directly under us right now when we saw all of these people going in there. And like uh, Colleen was saying, it looks like a lot of very, very young individuals down here. Uh, In the time leading up to Latasha's death, tensions between black and Korean Americans in LA were at an all-time high. Korean immigrants who came to America were opening up businesses in the black community because the real estate was cheap and affordable to them versus other areas. So it was much easier for them to secure loans that for some reason were not easily attained for black investors who wanted to do the same within their own community. And when Koreans opened up those stores, they would only hire other Koreans, which led to resentment from black citizens who accused the store owners of price gouging as well as constant harassment. Korean store owners like many others often faced the threat of armed robbers as well as shoplifters which caused many of them to carry guns. Latasha Harlins was born July 14, 1975 in St. Louis, Illinois. Her family would move to South Central Los Angeles when she was six. But only four years later, her mother Krista would be tragically shot to death in an L.A. nightclub. Ruth Harlins, her grandmother, would now take care of Latasha as well as her two siblings. Empire Liquor, which was owned by the Du family, was only five minutes walking distance from where Latasha grew up. Latasha, her siblings, and many other black children often avoided going in there unless they absolutely had to. Because of the aggressive harassment that store owners showed towards black children, Latasha's grandmother told her do not go in that store unless she was absolutely going to buy something. On March 3, 1991, a black man named Rodney King is violently beaten by police officers after being pulled over for speeding on a highway. In the early 90s, the average family did not own a video recorder as they were very expensive. And even though black people have been protesting police brutality for decades, there had never been such an encounter ever captured on film. So the fact that a tourist with a video camera was at that place at that time was either an extreme case of luck or an act of God. March 16, 1991, nearly two weeks after the Rodney King beating, Latasha, who had the money for orange juice, decided to enter Empire Liquor as she was a paying customer. Latasha placed a bottle of orange juice which cost $1.79 in her backpack and she proceeded to the register with $2 in her hand. When Latasha made it to the register, she was greeted with instant aggression, all caught on a grainy surveillance video as the store clerk Soon Jadu, who was an owner, accused Latasha of stealing the juice. 
Latasha responded by lifting up her hand containing the two dollars, explaining that she intended to pay. But Dude then grabbed her by a sweater which caused them to fight. During the melee, Latasha would not do to the floor, place the juice on the counter, and began walking out of the store. But before Latasha could make it to the door, a bullet pierced the back of her skull. And just like that, the coward shot her to death. shot in the back of the head while trying to leave the store. When police arrived at the scene, they found Latasha laying motionless on the floor in a pool of blood. Wrapped in her hand was two dollars. The jury would convict Jadu of involuntary manslaughter and they would also recommend the maximum of 16 years. But the white judge, Joyce Jarlin, presiding over the case, would take matters into her own hands. 400 hours of community service and a $500 fine. That is what Latasha Harlan's life was worth to our precious justice system. Latasha and many more It's been going on for years, there's plenty more Little Latasha show grown Tell the lady in the liquor store that she's forgiven So come home